Okay, after taking a few days off, we have a full show today. And we'll start with the older news first. The Bills have resi have resigned linebacker Matt Milano to a four year extension. A uh, four year deal worth forty four million dollars, twenty four million guaranteed. And he was a big part of their defense, so they didn't want him to walk away. And he will now stay in Buffalo. A person, however, not staying in the area is Mark Ingram. He is going to Houston. No, the no announcements of how how much he's making in that deal as of yet. But we will get that information probably soon. The Detroit Lions are expected to cut cornerback Justin Coleman because he hasn't been good this year. And Justin Coleman, he has played for a few teams. He's bounced around. But hasn't had the success that you want as a player. But I think when he finds the right scheme, he'll be okay. It would just be... I don't think he's a starting corner. I don't think that. But also, I think when you fire a head coach and then bring in an interim head coach, you still run with that coach ran. And it just doesn't work. And I think he struggled in that system. The Bears, some... Good news for the Bears fan. For Bears fans, the Bears have we saw has extended. Ka I, if I pronounce this wrong, don't. I'm not great with names, but if I pronounce this wrong, I'm sorry. Cairo Santos to a five-year extension. That's great because Bears, the Bears haven't had a great kicker in a long time, and this guy could be it because he's been really good. He was really good this past year. And I think that, get like, I remember when Eddie Pinheiro made his first kick, the fans went nuts because they felt like Cody Parkey, who was the kicker before, who hit the, who had the double doink, that was, as soon as Eddie Pinheiro hit it and it didn't hit the up, but they went nuts. They were like, yay! He fought, no one, he didn't hit it up, but we got a kicker now. You got to admire their optimism. You have to. <laughs> as crazy as it is, you got to admire their optimism. Speaking of optimism, Mahomes have taken a pay cut, took a cap cut, to save the Chiefs $17 million, which is mine as well. The Eagles have restructured. We've had more restructures over the course of the last few week, last few days. But the Eagles have restructured Brandon Brooks. The Bills have extended Dale Williams. No, no information on that as of yet. But some information we got was the Texans have signed Christian Kirksey, the former linebacker for the Green Bay Packers, and re-signed Vernon Hargraves. I like Vernon Hargraves. I think he's a good player. I just want to see him with a good team. I don't know if the Texans are it. Now, here's an interesting re-sign. When I heard this, I was like, wow. I don't know how Patriots fans are going to take this. And it was pretty optimistic. As the Patriots have re-signed Cam Newton into a one year with $14 million. Now, it's heavy in incentives. It's only really worth $5 million, But $9 million in incentives is really interesting kind of dealing. But I think if you're the Patriots, you have to get... I think Cam Newton's good. I think he's good enough that you can win football games. I think you just need to understand. you got to get people around him. Draft somebody. This is a pretty good receiver draft. This is re actually a really good receiver draft. 
you can get Devonta Smith. If you want a tight end, I guess. You can draft Pitts. It's a very interesting draft. On the offensive side of the ball, might as well take a shot. Another a move that I think everyone was expecting as soon as the general manager said it on the Rich Eisen show a few weeks ago. Tom Brady got extended for the 2021 season. And this is because he took a cap, cap cut in order to really free up some space, but giving him an extra year. That's how Tom Brady does things, and I think it's really smart, because he's been very successful at it. And I know people say, well, Tom Brady's washed up, he's not good anymore, and we need to prestige Patrick Mahomes and all that stuff. It's just like, no, no, and oh, no, we can't do that. And well, he, Tom Brady's not the GOAT. Joe Montana went on first take. And said, Tom Brady is the GOAT, period. He gave it up to him and it's like, okay. Okay. What else are you going to say? It's Joe Montana. I got nothing at that point. If he says so, okay. That's basically what it was. It was just like, these people have no, no... Like, they don't stay in the ground, if, is what I'm trying to say. But they think that if they say things when people are there, but then they say different things when they're not, like, no one catches it. Like, Stephen A. Smith has had different takes on the Cowboys every year because he thinks that that's just the way it should be. But when really, he jumps each year. Like he says, well, the Eagles are going to win. Then he, the Eagles lose a few games. And he's like, no, I'm going to jump to the Cowboys now. It doesn't work like that. Stick with your prediction. Stop being that way. Pick the people the way you're supposed to pick them. Not because they are losing at that point. Some teams get just snide. It just happens. It's whether you can come back from it or not. The Saints, on other news, the Saints are cutting Malcolm Butler, but restructured Michael Thomas. The Texans have treated Bernardrick McKinney for, to the Dolphins for Shaq Lawson. The Bears have signed, re-signed Mario Edwards to a three-year, $11.5 million dollar extension eleven and a half million. Aaron Jones signed with the pack signed a four year deal with the Packers with forty eight million. Um the Patriots yesterday have traded and this actually was in the works a few days before, it just didn't come out. The Patriots traded Marcus Cannon and in turn they swapped picks for it. Which is a great move. They swapped, and it's like, yeah, I know you, you know me, we can just make a deal like that. Speaking of news that happened yesterday, at about 5, 10 p.m. in the afternoon, Drew Brees announced his retirement via Instagram. It was him, I mean, he wasn't in the shop, but it was his kids on the couch. His three sons were in his Saints jerseys. Were in Saints jerseys, and they were. It was a long thing about how he was thanking everybody, and in turn he got a very positive response, not just from teams that he, the two teams that he played for, the Chargers and the Saints. He got a positive response from adversaries like Tom Brady, who said that he. Congrats, old friend. You your dedication made this game so great made me have so much dedication. That That's what sports is about. That's what it's all about. The dedication to the craft. 
is what sports is all about. It's the friendships you meet along the way. The friends you meet along the way. Like, Drew and Tom haven't faced that often until this year, where they faced three times. And that's such an interesting move. But, and I think it's just, that is competitive fire that they both had. And I thought it was a great gesture for all those people that went and did that for Drew Brees. Now, getting back into the poaching part, not really, uh, but Buffalo had re-signed their left guard, John Feliciano, to a three-year deal with $17 million. But here's the interesting thing about the retirement of Drew Brees. Fifteen, about 15 minutes before, I mean 15 minutes after the post, a text came out and said, the Saints have extended Jason Tatum to a $140 million extension. But a four or five year deal, $140 million extension. That's in, that's insane. Like, is he the quarterback? Is that what you're going for? If that is, okay, great. But if it's not, it's like, why would you waste that much money? So this move to me says, yes, he's your quarterback. And in some news, in the news for today, the Bucks have signed Shaq Barrett to a four-year deal, seventy-two million dollars is what it's worth. Thirty-six million guaranteed. It's a great deal because now you get to keep, you get to keep Levante David, Shaq Barrett. You might at least only lose Nadamik and Sue. That's a great part. To only lose like one guy in free agency. I mean, you really hope you're not going to lose any guys in free agency. But if you lose one and only one, that's like okay. One guy in free agency is like. That's like nothing compared to losing five guys in free agency. The Chiefs have also restructured Travis Kelsey and Chris Jones. And news that came out about 2 o'clock in the morning was when this deal came in the works. The former guard for the New York Giants... <clears throat> Excuse me. Cody Zeitler is heading to the Ravens. He signed a three year deal worth twenty two and a half million dollars. It's worth it, as I said, this deal happened about two o'clock in the morning, so the poaching period is really hitting on all cylinders at this point. Because these deals usually happen. And one of the final stories is the Titans are also allowing, along with John Newsmith walking, they're not going to bring him back. The, they're also going to let Corey Davis walk. And Corey Davis is a good receiver. I think he's going to get a lot of offers. I would not be surprised if John Smith would be like, hey, if you're going to bring me in, you got to bring Corey in too. Would not be surprised. It does happen. And the final thing today was, it actually happened a few days ago. Uh, actually, it happened yesterday. But, Kyle Hughescheck, the fullback of the San Francisco 49ers, signed, we signed with San Francisco a five-year, $27 million deal. He's making about $5.5 million a year which is more than any fullback makes he, by about three times the amount, okay? The, but he's used so much in that scheme that's worth it. But what do you guys think? Should the Titans keep John Smith? And what do you think of Patrick Mahomes taking a $17 million pay cut? You decide.